My next question is how emotional intelligence, if we could name uh, interrelated abilities uh, of consisting of emotional uh, intelligence. Um, for example, how you perceive and understand emotions, yes. right? Perceive yeah. and understand. See, for example, have you ever wondered <clears throat> why such an individual behave such or react such in the public or in the office environment? You know, why they are unable to control their emotions, unable to show empathy, why they are unable to work together with others or even communicate effectively. If you take the work context in an organization, sometimes they are unable to achieve results. They are unable to, to be self-motivated, right? And as a leader or as a manager, you're unable to manage conflict. There's so many things is going on. They're unable to manage change, especially during this pandemic period. They're unable to manage diversity. You know, today, thanks to the internet and technology, the world has become smaller. Globalization is taking place. So how are we going to manage diversity here? So when I say diversity, I'm not only talking about nationality here. I'm talking about language. I'm talking about their home culture, their eating habits, the gender, the age, um, education experience versus uh, work experience. How are you going to manage all this diversity? All this Roxanne, boils down to how you manage your emotions. Emotions is what controls us daily in any actions that we take. You know, see, Emotion is a feeling such as happiness, love, hatred, anger, happiness, you know, harmony. So all this can be caused by the situation that you're in or the people you're with. It's part of a, a, a person's character that consists of their feelings as opposed to their thoughts. So to summarize, right, what is EI is the ability to understand and manage your own emotions and those around you. That is emotional intelligence, managing your emotions and understanding it. It's, amazing. It's amazing because of course you have to be able apart from yourself to manage others because we're living all together. Yes, I, I like it. But the starting point is to manage yourself. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I understand then, yourself first. Of course, and then you carry on with the others. <laughs> Absolutely. You But, know, uh, even I, in the symposium, I did mention as much as artificial intelligence is taking over, um, robots are taking over our jobs and all that is happening. But don't forget, you know, humans are not getting extinct. They still do exist. So we need to manage these people. We need to manage ourselves too for all the change that's happening in this world. That is emotional intelligence. Exactly, because if we manage ourselves, we can control ourselves uh, and uh, to adapt, we help out for our adaptability. Beautifully uh, said, yes. If I manage yes. myself, it, uh, it helps me to adapt easier uh, in this new, let's say, chaotic environment, because it's the beginning. It's the beginning. You're and, right. You ac accept what's happening yes. and then you adapt to it. Yes, to adapt. Yes, helps you to adapt. Uh, it's, it's, it's very powerful.